Your brilliant plan is to put tiny animals into robots. That's it. Why are you trapping rabbits and birds in containment units? Why are you doing any of this? And how will putting ferrets into ladybugs it, robots help you get them? So why don't you go get them instead of kidnapping rodents? Here's what you do. Stop kidnapping rodents, since all that does is draw attention to the giant blue super fast hedgehog that spikes can literally explode robots. Just steal the Chaos Emeralds and leave the forest critters alone. And what's that over there? Thank you, sir. I just wonder what the internet will draw creepy sad fan art now that Sonic's dead. Nah, probably nothing. Hey, Dr. Wily, can we talk? It's about your robots. They literally suck ass. What the heck kind of a scientist are you? Why did you design all of your own robots with fatal weaknesses to each other? You have Heat Man, who's weak against Bubble Man, whose weapon is Bubbles, by the way, who's weak against Metal Man, whose metal blades shouldn't hurt anyone, but they hurt Bubble Man twice as much for some reason. Assistant Poison Man? Why did you make Assistant Poison Man? Oh my god, this is so stupid. If you're so good at making weapons that can exploit weaknesses, make some to fight Mega Man. Just doing my job, Dr. Wily. Hey, what, who, what exactly are a doctor of you anyway? Here's your latte, boss. No, instead of that, I hired a private security firm to guard the castle. There are literally coins just floating everywhere. Also, soy milk lactose makes you gassy. And i just gotten word that Mario and Luigi are gunned down. Yep. Yeah, I saw your plan and I noticed a few flaws in it. Number one, everything. Number two, even more somehow. Spinning balls of fire, easily jumpable gaps, a bunch of turtles walking back and forth. And there is this one guy who's just randomly throwing his kids out of a cloud. And why is there an axe that destroys the bridge you're standing on right behind you? What about the princess? Isn't she all behind you at all time? Also completely unguarded? Yep. Alright, alright, cut the music. Come on, let's get you to the hospital. Why do you have keys in every locked door in every dungeon just lying around for everyone to find? No wonder the same mute, pantsless Peter Pan cosplayer keeps murdering you across generations. You made it so easy for him. Wait, wait. You already have the Triforce, the most powerful artifact that literally grants wishes. You could wish for anything. Even a pizza dinosaur. Ugh, that does it. I am sick of working for idiots. Hey, Kevin. Hi, Kevin. Uh, killed the mute kid, by the way. We stabbed him a whole bunch. Pretty much easy to kill mute kids when you're not terrible at anything. <gasps> yep. Also got a bunch of health regenerating fairies. So pretty sure that means we're all immortal now. Oh, nice. Thanks, Kevin. Gray. Great! I noticed that you carry five Pokemon when you're allowed six. Interesting choice. I mean, I carry 20 because, you know, we're criminals. You think crime lords take turns? My guys, go murder his guys. Up, oh, Hitmonchan, stay back and turn his face into ground milting. That's the point. You're a crime boss. Why aren't you following rules at all? Why are you letting an 11-year-old dismantle your whole operation? Why aren't you a gym leader? We're literally the last stop on a scavenger hunt for children. Yep. Electro, get in here and you self-destruct. We just killed a child, boss. We gotta get rid of the evidence. Oh dear gosh, I'm out. You got rid of half of all life to solve starvation? What kind of nonsense, Monthusian BS garbage is that? Maybe in your gosh darn fantasy land, but not in the real world. Do you know what actually causes starvation? Supply chains. 
planes, boats, trucks, and you have just erased all of them. With your little snap, thousands of planes fell out of the gosh darn sky. Millions of cars just lost their drivers and crashed into other cars that may have still had their drivers in them. Trains derailed, entire shipping vessels lost their crews. In other words, you have disrupted every major supply chain in existence and probably caused more starvation than you ever could have prevented. Earth had more than enough resources to feed everyone, and people still starved because things got in the way of supply chains. War, trade disputes, poverty, corporate greed, and now a purple bastard who buys and discredited in economic theories. So, we've been through a lot together in Voldemort. There was the time where you failed to kill a defenseless baby. I recommended that you shoot it with the gun. There was the time that you lived on the back of a guy's head for a year. And who could forget the time that you tried to use a 12-year-old to release a giant snake monster and accidentally got part of your soul destroyed? But none of your overly convoluted, insanely stupid plans that constantly get foiled by children can compare to your original dumb plan horcruxes. Let's get this straight. You hid your soul in various horcruxes, right? And all of these horcruxes are prominent, well-known artifacts, with the exception of your immortal snake, Nagini, and you die forever if they're all destroyed. Then why the heck didn't you make one of the horcruxes a gosh darn grain of sand that no one could find to destroy? Why did you make one of your extremely killable snake? You are, by far, the worst magical Hitler I have ever worked with. Fishing accident in 1992. Got your own hook caught in your cheek twice. Super embarrassing. Anyway, can we talk about your plan? Uh, are you being serious right now? You just handed me the blueprints to the most elaborate plan I have ever seen. If my dog, you mean somebody that had their goons fill two buildings with explosives and kidnapped the DA and the assistant DA, as well as has been to make sure that he was arrested and then interrogated by the Batman, then yes, you are a dog. Do you hear yourself? You have a contingency plan for everything. It's so intricate. The only thing I don't really get is why. Uh-huh. And how are you going to do that? Man, you are the best planner I have ever met. And have the lamest endgame. Forced twice, recovering alcoholic. Doesn't have a lot of room for a sense of humor. Now, get out. I got like three other evil clowns to see today. Uh, Devin, send in Pennywise here so I can explain to him how to not get destroyed by the gosh darn goonies. My gosh, this is some of the most diabolical, villainous behavior I've ever seen. I got nothing. No advice. You two clearly know exactly what you're doing and been able to get away with it so blatantly in the public eye. You've managed to basically take over the entire business of the internet, have warmed your way in nearly every aspect of online life, and make most of your money selling off the private information of your users to anonymous third parties in ways that have compromised democracy itself. There aren't even any real meaningful attempts on your way to break you up or make you face consequences for your actions of malfeasance and sabotage. More? More what? You have everything. And when there's something you don't have, you just buy it and make a part of you. You're like Tetsuo and Akira, but for capitalism. It's impressive. Evil and impressive. You just want what the other one wants. Just get together from the ultimate unstoppable beast that will ever consume the internet and be done with it. Welp, I've done it. I have created the most perfectly evil entity possible. My work here is done.